Frightening moments in unincorporated Weber County today when a man was buried alive in a muddy trench collapse. That man actually recovering tonight, all thanks to a fellow construction worker. The special Sheriff Park join us live from the site right now and share this was a close call. It was a very close call and a risky rescue, Mike, because it involved this backhoe pushing the mud out of the trench. But in the end, it paid off and that man is recovering tonight. If he wouldn't have done what he did, I, I believe that uh, the outcome could have very much been different. It was the quick actions of a construction worker in unincorporated Weber County that saved the life of a co-worker buried in a muddy trench. He was able to make a, a good sound decision and was able to save this guy's life. It happened just before 10 o'clock this morning in the new Winston Park subdivision in Taylor. According to the builder, Updwell Homes, two employees were working on sewer lines for a new home when one of them went into the trench to check something. Moments later, the walls came sliding down, burying him alive. With no time to spare, the man's co-worker used the bucket on a backhoe to push the mud out of the trench, exposing the man's airway. When we arrived on scene, uh, the patient was located right here. When Weber Fire District's heavy rescue crew arrived on scene, they pulled the man from the trench. We was able to get down there real quick and uh, get him wrapped in a, uh, a blanket. He was taken to a hospital with serious injuries, but is expected to be okay. Couldn't ask for a better outcome. Now, according to OSHA, a trench over four feet deep requires protections to prevent something like this from happening. This trench here appears to be at least five feet deep, maybe a little deeper in some areas, but it's hard to tell with how much water is in there at this point. Now, the builder tells me that they are so thankful that this employee is okay and that they'll be looking into what exactly happened here today and the decisions that were made. OSHA will likely also do their own investigation. Mike, we'll send it back to you. Yeah, such a scare. Glad that things ended the way that they did this evening. Uh, Shara, thanks so much.